I have the, the privilege uh, and honor of, of tasting all of our inbound coffees uh, that, that come in from around the world uh, and approving them for use in our roasting plants. Uh, I, I get paid to drink coffee and it's, it's the greatest job in the world. Um, and what that means for something like this is, you know, our, our job in coffee quality is, is to let coffee have center stage. You know, we are Starbucks and, and coffee is our core. It always has been and it always will be. Um, but we get to innovate and we get to have fun uh, figuring out how to build the stage for our star to really shine. Um, and that's, that's what came in here. And, and um, what I was tasked with when, when I took on the, the coffee part of this project was how do we find a coffee that can stand up to this wild process, doesn't get overwhelmed by it, but you can still know that you're getting these specific flavors out of it. So we tried a lot of different things. It was that trial and error piece. Um, it started with, the, okay, you know, we're doing whiskey. Hey, Sumatra, it's the way to go. It's big, it's bold, it's earthy. This is, this is gonna work, this is gonna be awesome. And so you have, you have months of getting a barrel ready, and then weeks of the coffee in the barrel, and then you roast it and you taste it, and there, and now don't take this wrong, but there could be too much of a good thing. So you have all of these amazing big bold flavors of Sumatra, um, the earth notes, the cedar notes, and all of the notes of barrel aging, the, the oak and the vanilla and everything that goes into that, and it was a fight in our mouths. I mean, it was everything trying to get to the forefront, really uh, wanting to have that main flavor. Um, too much of a good thing. So we uh, waited another couple months, got the barrels ready, and uh, put new coffee in. We decided, let's try the oxygen spectrum. Let's go with the Guatemala, something that's soft, it's mellow. It's gonna allow an awesome platform for this coffee to stand on. Roast it, wait, try it, and it was a carrier. Guatemala's an amazing coffee, but the barrel age overtook it. You knew that it was coffee because it looked like coffee, but that was about as far as you got. Um, and there were a lot of barrel flavors, which was great, but we wanted that marriage. We wanted that experience and that, that melding together. So the question was, what do we find in the middle? What hits all of that and hits all of those notes? Um, and uh, we found a sweet spot with Stella Woods. So Stella Woods is just kind of sticking with the heritage of, of this area, the Taraja region of, of the island of Stella Woods. Um, you know, it has a history in specialty coffee and is known for for its um, a big syrupy body, it's known for its earthy characteristics, but Soloasi stands apart because it has this smooth, buttery finish that's unlike anything else. And it had the strength to be able to stand up to the process of barrel aging without being overwhelmed by it, while still shining on its own as an amazing, exceptional cup of coffee. Um, so it was just trying and, and experimenting and, and playing and going, well, that's, that might be it. No, that's not it. Let's try something else. Um, so selecting a coffee that, that stands up to the heritage of Solo AC, um, it's a coffee that's been on our menu since 1971. You know, this is such a huge part of our heritage and who we are. So to see that paired with something that speaks, it, it's a peek into the future of the innovation of where we're going, of who we are as Starbucks, and where we're going to see ourselves into the future. Um, it's really exciting to see the full breadth of everything come together. Um, and that's what we get to enjoy in, in this cup today.